Hey there, guys, and thank you for coming back from our review channel for today's review. We got some of this here Halloween Crunch, Captain Crunch. Ghosts turn the milk green. I got a clear cup here. We're going to try it out in the clear cup. And uh, believe it or not, I've held on to this cereal for. Damn. I want to say probably, probably since probably the end of September, I've had this box of cereal on deck waiting to shoot uh, a review for you guys, and uh, let me tell you, I've seen some Cap'n Crunch, I've seen plenty of Cap'n Crunch, I'm just waiting for the captain to cruncheritize me, and uh, it hasn't happened yet, eventually it will happen though, I know it's going to happen eventually, it smells just like cereal, nothing special about it. Oops. And uh, they recommend two different, they recommend Oops Old Berries and Peanut Butter Crunch. Uh, here's something that I didn't do, serving size. One cup, I feel like that's roughly one cup. Uh, calories, cereal alone, 160. We're going to have some milk with it though. 210 Calories with milk, sat fat, 2.5 grams, 3%, sat, uh, total fat, 2.5 grams, 3%, sat fat, 1 gram, 4%, trans fat, 0, polyunsaturated, 0, monounsaturated, 1, cholesterol, less than 5 milligrams, 1%, sodium, 350 milligrams, 15%, total carbs, 41 grams, 15%, dietary fibers, less than a gram, 3%, total sugars, 25 grams, includes 17 grams of added sugars, 34% of your daily intake, protein with milk, 7 grams, that's interesting. Vitamin D, 2 micrograms, 8%. Calcium, 200 milligrams, 15%. Iron, 6.6 .6 milligrams, 35%. Potassium, 310 milligrams, 6%. Diamond, 0.4 milligrams, 30%. Riboflavin, 0.6 milligrams, 45%. Niacin, 4 milligrams, 25%. Vitamin B, 6.5 milligrams, 30%. Foliate, 200 micrograms, 50%. Distributed by the Quaker Oats Company. Uh... It doesn't say anything on this about it being made from genetically modified products, which is always a good thing. And uh, the Quaker Oats Company is what makes this. Which I never realized that, that the, uh, the captain very well could be a Quaker. Who would have thought? I never really honestly thought about who makes Captain Crunch. To be fair. So we're going to... Put that just like that. Let that sit for a little bit. See how long it takes for... Uh... I want to raise this so you guys can see it. And we can all sit here and wait and ponder on how long it's going to take. I don't know if you guys feel like I should try to start eating this. Maybe if I eat it, it'll, uh, I do see it turning green. I do see it turning green right over here, right there. You can see it turning green. I think I'm just going to leave it. Let it do its thing. I'm pretty, uh, I'm enjoying watching it change colors. I see it changing more so on the bottom. Some of the pieces on the inside are changing colors. I'll put this, uh. Just keep that like that for you guys, so you guys can see that. So, uh, yeah. I feel like it is absolutely turning green. It's not turning as green as I would like it to turn, but we're going to give it, we're going to help it along a little bit. I feel like if I mush things around inside of here... It will make things. And the orange ones are what turn green, by the way. So if you just took a whole bunch of those orange ones, you can make any cereal turn green. Any milk, rather. I'm going to take some regular bites. Oops.
The things that turn your milk green really don't taste like anything. Just another Captain Crunch piece. Wow. Just wow. It tastes like basic Captain Crunch. The only claim to fame is that it does indeed make your milk turn green. But not green like they pictured it. This looking of green, you know what? I guess that that is somewhat accurate. That green and this green they're relatively the same color green. So I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed that I bought regular Captain Crunch. And there isn't anything remotely special about it. It really is just basic Captain Crunch. It's basic Captain Crunch with these orange ghosts that do turn your milk green. It is nice. However, I feel like I feel like Captain Crunch they should not only cater, since they have this ability to make the milk green. They could totally come after Lucky Charms. And make some uh, clovers for St. Patrick's Day. And make your milk turn green for St. Patrick's Day. Maybe make some eggs. Turn your milk purple for Easter. Some hearts. Turn it red for Valentine's Day. You know, there's so many different things they could do with this. I really think this is a great concept. <sighs> Delicious green milk. Overall, positive, pleasant experience. I would like to see them do more, though, with it than just basic Captain Crunch and green milk. Uh, I got this on sale for, I want to say it was $1.99 when it first came out in September, uh, through the holiday for Halloween. I saw this, uh, this box of cereal went as high as four twenty nine dollars a box. That is crazy. Limited edition, yes, but it is still available in ShopRite if you look for it. So, not exactly limited edition. As always, guys, my name is Johnny5. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did enjoy this review, you give me a thumbs up. You show me some love in the comment box down below. If you are new to this channel and this is the first video that you are catching, subscribe in the corners and ring that bell. Daily uploads here. Lots of food reviews coming up. Not so many vape videos. YouTube doesn't seem to really care for vape videos as much as you guys do. And I'm sorry if that offends you, but that's the way it is. Check the description box for Jay Glees' channel. And I will uh, catch you guys on the next one. You guys be good, be safe, and I will catch up with you guys on the next one. Later, it is. I would, I would definitely buy this again, but not for four twenty nine. Um, a dollar ninety nine is a fair price to pay for a box of cereal, in my opinion. Be good, be safe, guys. Later, it is.